SETI Astro Suite version 2. A complete overhaul, new features, and a blink comparator. Let's dive into it. Welcome to SETI Astro. So head on over to SETIastro.com under Astro Programs. SETI Astro Suite version 2 is available. You're also going to have to get the newest update for Cosmic Clarity. Uh, specifically because Satellite Trail Removal version 2.3 is out and it's required to um, be updated to work with the new City Astro Suite. It does have improved satellite detection and uh, continuation on training the AI Model 3 as well. So you're definitely going to want to get that. So let's jump into all the new features. It, it is a complete overhaul. So inside here now the images are stored in an image manager and can move between tab to tab to tab uh, at least on the tabs where it makes sense to have a an image pre-populate so when you first open it uh, it still opens on xisf liberator and uh, that that still functions the same way you're going to notice there's a file menu option up here now for open image save as undo redo and exit it still has the light and dark theme and the quick navigation button. There is a completely new tab, Blink Comparator. And this is a, a Blink tool or a Blink feature people have been asking about as well. Uh, so let's let's go ahead and, and, and jump into all this. The other option for opening an image, instead of clicking load image or file open image, you can now drag and drop images over to SETI Astro Suite and it's going to open them for you. Uh, so drag and drop is now unlocked as well. When you do load in an image, like I just did uh, dragging and dropping it, uh, you could see that it is opened in everything that makes sense. So uh, if it has XISF data, it'll populate that in there. It opens it directly into Cosmic Clarity, Statistical Stretch, Curves, Star Stretch, frequency separation, halo be gone. That way you can utilize these tools and it's gonna update the entire suite in the background. So for instance, let's go ahead and run a statistical stretch. We'll just preview the stretch. And now here's the updated stretch on Orion. And now if you go over to Cosmic Clarity, you can see it is the stretched version there as well and then same with like frequency separation so now it is the stretched version that's over here if you want to take a step back be sure to click undo and that's going to go backwards in time in the image manager to the previous image uh, undo and redo are also functions in the in the file menu up here so that's going to be a, I think a really great thing to move the images across from from object to object to object. Along with that, you can see at the bottom here, uh, it has the it, file name as well. And again, let's say you have an XASF file, you wanna load up because you wanna convert it or something. It's gonna have all the XISF data off to the, the right. You can, you know, save as, you could, you could save it as a, as a different object. But at the same time, right, it's it's fully in here. Here's cosmic clarity, statistical stretch, curves, right? It's it, it, it allows you to open the image and just start start working on it without having to save it and load it into all these separate tabs. So no more need to ask if somebody has PixInsight and you want to share an XISF file with them or whatever. You could just send it, right? They could they could open that XISF file in here. They could adjust it with statistical stretch, cosmic clarity, frequency separation, whatever they want to do, or just save it as a TIFF or if it's uh, the tabs where it's not going to pre-populate an image in there. So let's just go ahead and just load an image. All right, now we got an, an object loaded in here. You're going to see satellite obviously doesn't have a preview, so that's not going to populate anything in there. Narrowband RGB stars, right? This is a star count combination tool. So 
in order to actually put anything in here, you're going to have to select your stars only images. H alpha stars. Here's our O3 stars. We can preview the combined image. Now here's our combined image for the, you know, the narrowband RGB stars. And when that's done computing, you're going to find it again over in statistical stretch curves, halo be gone. So you can do your star combination and immediately jump over to halo be gone or, or whatever you want to do. Um, so it is smart enough to know that if you're uh, using one of these other tools like continuum subtraction, you could load your narrow band and your continuum images, hit execute, and then it allows you to instantly jump over to statistical stretch or curves or denoise it with cosmic clarity um, without having to, you know, save it and then load it up in, in something else. The options to save and load are, are still on every single tab, or if you want to go up to file, it's it's there too. What's in my image will not preload the image uh, only because there's a whole bunch of stuff around its astrometric solutions and and things of that nature so um, it's not going to pull across from that when you're done processing you're going to have to open it in uh, what's in my image separately you got to load that into into this so it can load in the fits headers if it doesn't have a fits header, it's going to have to, you know, talk to astrometry.net, get the solution. All that is in there like that. And then what's in my sky doesn't have any images associated with that. So, so that doesn't have anything to do with the, the image manager in the background. Now let's jump into, I think the one people have been waiting for is, is a blink tool. Um, this tool is, I, I, I like it. I, I, I think I put a little bit of thought into it. So let's go ahead. Normally when you blink objects, you're gonna have a, a series of raw images that you captured and you're looking for things like high wispy clouds that obscured your image or um, I don't know, a, a plane drew, drew, flew through it and, and completely obscured your object. Remember we have satellite trail removal, so you, know, you don't need to get rid of the satellite trail ones anymore, but trailing stars from your mount not tracking correctly or um, your mount was bumped or wind you know jiggled it all during the image so there's a lot of reasons why you just want to inspect your images delete the ones that are bad and and move on so when you load in your images you can click select images you could highlight as many or as few as you want it should um load in a bunch right so png tiff fits xisf a whole bunch of different raw formats uh, it should be pretty well captured for for most people out there and you know you could just click through them and see what they are the arrow keys also work so you could you know down arrow on the keyboard and it updates uh, pretty smoothly pretty quickly here if you find one that is bad so I purposely put this one in here with a big trick or a big plane just flew through this one uh, if you right click it, you can just click delete and it deletes the file. It's gone. Uh, so be careful with delete if you don't want to actually delete the file. Um, but I know that's a feature that PixInsight is sorely missing is just to be able to delete the file straight from Blink. Uh, the other thing I added in here is if you want to really inspect the image, go deeper into it, you, you think you see something cool. If you right click, you can say push the image for processing. That's going to push the image to the image manager in the background. And now that image is there in statistical stretch, cosmic clarity, curves, frequency separation, right? So you can go ahead now and do a little quick processing on this particular image from your blink and, and you know, see what was going on with it. So I think that's a, a, a great feature that merges both blink, the ability to delete your files with blink. And then if you see something really cool or whatever in one of the images, you could push it up to the uh, image manager to actually populate all your tabs here. And then quickly, there were some major bug fixes in satellite. The clip satellite trail to zero wasn't working if you selected it or didn't select it. So that now 
is working correctly. If you don't want to clip the satellite trails to zero, you can uncheck that and let it uh, run. Like I said, I have updated not only the satellite to fix that clip satellite trail, it has um, an extra check for the detection method. So it has a much more robust detection method, which should allow you to even drive the clipping value here to be more sensitive. And then I did do additional training on the Orion Nebula specifically uh, for satellite trail removals because that uh, nebula with those harsh kind of linear features in it uh, was definitely throwing off the model. So I, I did do a lot of additional training with that. What's in my image? I got rid of the standalone flip the theme button down there because that didn't make any more sense with our with our global themes. Statistical stretch didn't have um, an undo button and uh, so that's that's been changed. Now you could preview it in and undo it. And as always up in the file, there's undo and redo as well. Well, I hope everybody gets some great use out of version two here. It, like I said, complete overall. I think it includes a lot of features that people have been wanting about, uh, you know, being able to have images that can move from tab to tab. It, it's really gonna allow you to utilize the suite as a suite instead of just kind of a bunch of uh, ad hoc tabs. Blink was another one, and I think even Pix Insight users can definitely use uh, that since it allows you to flip through them and delete the ones you don't want and push it if you want to do some quick pr processing on it just to see what's in your image. Please comment, like, and subscribe.